cold outside, but stay warm inside of you. Ew. Hello, Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Yub Plays Undertale. This is right where we left off. We just met, um, Sans and Papyrus, which someone told me they're named after their fonts <laughs> that their stuff is in, which is hilarious. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back here. Sincerely, a box lover. So once something is equipped, you cannot take it off without finding something else. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a snow drake with rotating freaking saw teeth. Let's, uh, I'm not gonna heckle him. Let's joke with him. You make a bad ice pun. Ha, ha, nice try. Oh no, ice worms. <laughs> he realized its own name is a pun and it's freaking out. <laughs> Let's, uh, laugh. You laugh at him before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Dodging the ice worms. Ah, okay, I guess one came from the bottom. So can I? I still can't. Okay, let's uh, let's heckle. It's kind of mean. You tell Snow Drake that they aren't funny. Insults towards humans. Just generic. Just generic insults towards. Oh my God! Dang it! I lived through that. He's assessing the crowd. Let's check and see what it says. This team, this teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. My favorite ice cereals, Frosted. He's telling freaking jokes. All right, uh, let's laugh again. He's a, he's a comedian, right? He wants people to laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See, laughs. Dad was wrong. <laughs> you go, Snow Drake. He's pleased with its cool joke. There you go. He just wants people to laugh at him, y'all. That's it. Here they, here they are. Okay, real quick. I was told I did the wrong voice for him, but his text is huge and in all caps. So it sounds, it seems to me like he would have an intense voice. Uh, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. So, as I was saying about Undyne. They're <laughs> looking at each other a thousand times. <laughs> Whoa. A human, yeah, it's me. Sands! Oh my god, is that a human? Hey guys. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Stupid. Oh! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sands, I finally did it! Undyne Mo! I'm gonna. I'll be so popular, popular, popular! <clears throat> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue, only if you dare. Ah. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for ya. Uh, so I don't know if I did that right, but there wasn't really anything to do wrong, so I guess I did. What's up here? Fishing. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah, yeah. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Wait, I, I can't decide to call? I can't call him? God dang it, I would. Just because it's a weird looking monster doesn't mean you shouldn't be his friend and call him. That's all I'm saying. What is this here? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well crafted sentry station! Who could have built this? You ponder! I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman! Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. So he's writing stuff for you to think of? Ice Cap struts into view. Yeah, he is strutting. He has a rotating drill nose. Let, let's check him first. Ice Cap. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Okay. Where's your hat? Holy freaking... Oh, okay. Never mind. It's not that... It seemed a lot crazier. It's snowing dandruff. So he likes hair stuff? Let's, uh... I guess we could steal his hat? That's kind of rude. Let's compliment him. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Duh! Who doesn't know? God dang it. All right, let's let's take his hat. 
He tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. But it's not weakened enough. We have to weaken it. I knew it, thief! Holy crap. Shoot stuff. This is the coolest game, by the way. We have to weaken him, so let's ignore him. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here. Dude, all this guy cares about is his hat. Ice Cap is secretly chicken if you're looking at its hat. So, now can I steal it? You tried to steal his hat, but it's not weakened enough. God dang it. So we have to weaken him more before we can steal his hat. Let's ignore him again. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. Freaking Ice Cap, man. He's desperate for attention. And now we can spare. All you gotta do is ignore him twice. Okay. He's like a real life teenager. Absolutely no moving. I'm gonna move. Uh. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Oh, look at him. He freaking dances. Doggo. <laughs> Let's check. I could just pet him? I'll just pet him. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Okay. That was easy. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Now can I pet him? You pet him. Oh, look at him. He loves it. Oh. Uh, what? I've been pet. Pet. Pot. Pet. Doggo has been pet. <laughs> Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm going to need some dog treats for this. I rang the bell. He's going to come fight me again, right? Hello? Is anybody there? No? I love him. Oh, he, is there these dog treats? Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> it's the best game. It's the best game. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. <laughs> Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Wow, thanks, man. It's super helpful. Oh, the ice. I understand. What does this say? North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east. Snowden Town. And ice. Let's go this way. Actually, no, I want to go up first. <gasps> snowman. Hello. I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. He looks the same. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. That's cute. Alrighty. Go this way. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuse us. Excuse us. Hey, guys. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Oh yeah, you're holding the orb, bro. Sands, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb, bro. Oh, okay. He's gonna hand it to me? Can I just drop it? Oh my god, he's leaving footprints. Really, dude. Hold this, please! And he throws it real high in the sky. It's on my head. So I'm just gonna walk on his footprints. Incredible! You slippery sail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> oh, and Moon walks out of the world. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. 
Man. Isn't my brother cool? So wait, he's actually a lot smaller than that? I think he's a lot smaller. Who are you, cool guy? You look like a freaking Mass Effect character. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? Yeah. It's the, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G, yeah. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Thanks, bud. I may, I changed his life. What is this large ball? Oh! It's a little soccer ball. Oh, cool. Hey, man. I've been thinking about selling treats, too! Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Sure. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Sure. Really? How about 5,000? I- sure. 500,000G. Sure. What? You don't have the money. Hey. That's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> I wonder if you actually did have the money, what would happen? Oh, my ball reset itself. I think you need to get that checked out by a doctor. Alright, kick this. Oh, little boys love playing soccer. No, go to the left, please. Oh my god. It's the world's bounciest ball. There we go. It's kind of hard to make this do diagonals when you can't walk diagonals. Just saying. Oh no! Here. I'll kick it. Bam. Oh, look, it gets smaller and smaller. Just go in there. Just go in there. Hurry up. Go. Yes! What do I get? Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded two gold. Oh, so you can do it more times and get more gold. Awesome. What happens if I just kick this one in there? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Oh, he's right, it is. That's a shape joke. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? Uh, it's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Um... Monster Kid's word surge. Hey kids, could you help me solve the puzzle? It's just a word surge. How do I... Can I play it? I'd like to play it. Uh, I see the word monster. I see the word skeletons. Uh, Sans! That didn't do anything! <laughs> Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. <laughs> what? Really? Dude. That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, a word jumble or a crossword? Easily a crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. Nah. All right. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> Can't solve that. I really wanted to do that word puzzle. Ooh, here's a dinner. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. I guess I was supposed to look at that before I did this. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it, you won't realize you are progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Nah, ha, ha, Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> it's a special edition spaghetti microwave. There's another mouse right there. Alright, well we can't do anything with that. Warning, dog marriage. <laughs> I want to see some dogs get married. Oh, a lesser dog. Look at him go. They all dance. Let's check him out. Oh, they're all the options are pet. Lesser dog, attack seven, defense zero. Wields a stone dogger made of pomegranate. <laughs> pant, pant. Look out. Oh, ow, dude, you actually got me. Lesser dog cocks its head to one side, because that's what dogs do. Pet him. You barely lifted your hand, and lesser dog got excited. Tiny bark. Arf. Oh, I was supposed to not move. The blue ones, you're not supposed to move at all. 
Lesser dog is barking excitedly. He can get out of here. Thanks, buddy. I love the- I hope there's more dogs. I hope that the whole rest of the game is dogs. 100% dogs. What did I just find while I was looking at the camera? Excuse me. X marks- it's a map. Okay. Alright, so there's treasure up there, top right. Or not treasure. I said it's a treasure map. There's something up here. Is it a dog? An ice cap and Jerry! <laughs> Jerry came too! Well, let's go ahead and ignore ice cap just because at least we know that we're supposed to do that. Why are we doing this? What a fail. What is Jerry's attack? He's not doing anything. Are they both doing that same attack? Jerry sneezes without covering its nose. Let's uh, ignore the ice cap again. I continue not looking at his hat. He gets pissed off. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Guys, it's cold. Does anyone care? Care, Jerry? You need a jacket? I don't have one, but if I did, I'd give it to you. Jerry eats powdery food and licks its hands loudly. <laughs> All right, so Jerry's freaking annoying. Well, can you give me a ride home? Jerry eats powdery food. Uh, let's ditch Jerry. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. <laughs> oh, Jerry. I'm sorry, bud. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Nailed it. Look at this. Uh-oh. Oh, frick. These looks like some serious dogs. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. I just didn't move. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Oh. Doji. Oh. They love each other. They're kissing a little bit. Dogami and Dagaressa. Okay, um, let's check. Dogami, husband of Dogaressa, knows only what he smells. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. <laughs> That's adorable. Holy freaking crap. These are the largest axes. The dogs are practicing for the next couples contest. I need to eat the nice cream. Are those claws natural? You covered 15 HP. Number two, nuzzle jams. Of course, we were second. The blue ones, I can go right through, right? I just have to dodge the little kisses there. The dogs are reevaluating your smell. Okay. Uh, I don't want to mess with her because he'll freak out. So let's let's pet him. The dogs are too suspicious of your smell. Dang it! Pause off, you smelly human. That's not your husband, okay? I know that. I'm not stupid. Dodging hearts. Okay. Let's uh let's roll around. You roll around in the dirt and snow to change your smell. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife's fleas. Don't actually. Oh frick, I hate this one. This sucks. <laughs> Sorry, freaked out. The dogs may want to resmell you. See, they, they tell you what to do sometimes. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What? Smells like a, are you actually a little puppy? And then they still try to murder you? You guys are rude. Look at this. They find out I'm a puppy and they try to smash me. Dogs think you may be a lost puppy. Uh... Can I pet them now? I can't. You pet dog me. Wow! Pet by another pup! Well, don't leave me out. I gotta pet both of them. This is a crazy fight. Let's pet her. You pet Dogaressa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs. Amazing! I already pet that one. Ow. Why did I freaking do that? I don't, I don't care about my life. The dog's minds have been expanded. <laughs> 40 gold? Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us! Thanks, weird puppy! Hey, you're welcome. I live to educate the pups. Alright guys, I gotta end this one right there. Uh, come back for the next one and we'll do whatever this freaking puzzle is. I loved those two dogs, it was great. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Please come back for the next one. Hit subscribe down there if you'd like to see more from me. And as always, have a bye five!